In the annals of scientific achievement, few stories are as remarkable as that of John Bardeen. A physicist of extraordinary talent, Bardeen accomplished the rare feat of winning the Nobel Prize twice, once in 1956 and again in 1972. But the story of his first win is particularly noteworthy, not for the scientific breakthrough that earned him the accolade, but for a rather amusing incident that occurred at the awards ceremony. When Bardeen was awarded his first Nobel Prize in physics for his work on the transistor, he decided to leave most of his family at home. You see, Bardeen held education in high regard and didn't want his children to miss school or their tests. In fact, he himself was so dedicated to his work that he was reluctant to take time off for the ceremony. However, the King of Sweden, who was present at the ceremony, noticed the absence of Bardeen's family. In a mildly reproving tone, the King remarked on their absence. Bardeen, ever the quick thinker, responded with a promise. He said he'd bring his family the next time. Now, winning a Nobel Prize is a pinnacle achievement for most, and the idea of winning it a second time is almost unthinkable. But Bardeen was not most people. Sixteen years later, in 1972, he did win the Nobel Prize again. This time it was for his groundbreaking work on superconductivity. True to his word, Bardeen brought his entire family to the awards ceremony. He had fulfilled his promise to the King of Sweden. This second win placed him in the elite club of double laureates, making him only the third person in the history of the Nobel Prize to achieve this distinction. The story of John Bardeen's two Nobel wins is not just about his exceptional scientific contributions. It's also a testament to his unique approach to life and work. He was a man who valued education and hard work, who took his commitments seriously, and who was not afraid to challenge the norms. His story reminds us that behind every scientific discovery, there's a human story, often as compelling as the science itself. And so the tale of John Bardeen continues to inspire reminding us that extraordinary achievements are not just about the accolades and the applause, but also about the journey, the dedication, and the personal commitments that define who we are.